Alright, so since I have the camera out and everything, I thought I would do a little... Somebody asked about um, the backgrounds I made in my journal with all of the um, Adirondack inks and stuff like that. And I've done a video that shows you how to use it with the stencils, but I want to show you how I get all the funky colors and stuff and how the stencils are all different colors. So that's what we're going to do. And um, let me go set up and then we'll get started, okay? All right, here's my journal, and today I'm going to show you how I make backgrounds like this and that in my journal. So here's my journal, and I'm going to show you how to make backgrounds like this one in your journal. And all I'm going to use is Adirondack spray ink some stencils, and some water. So first things first, all right so I grabbed some stencils. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make those watercolor backgrounds and I use the Adirondack spray ink. I have little bottles and big bottles just depending on when I got the color. Um, I have my brush with some water and it's just been sitting on my desk. Um, and I have a mini mister and I've used a regular spray bottle before. It doesn't really work as well. I also have, this is actually a roll of like cotton, but if you get like Viva paper towels or the paper towels that feel more cottony, it'll work better than just regular paper towels. So first things first, let me show you my stencils. You can tell that I don't wash them off. Here's another one. Because what happens is, is when I hit this with water, it'll reactivate and it'll blend in with whatever colors I'm using. So I get them dirty. So here are more stencils. And some of these are home decor. These are made for actual, these are masks. Um, this is from Crafters Workshop. And this is just an old um, plastic doily. And I'm using different stencils because I don't want my journal to use the same ones all the time. So first things first, I'm going to spray this. And your ink is going to get everywhere, which is why I have a black table. <laughs> and it's really fun to mix colors together. So I'm going to do, let's see, cranberry. Come on. like that. And this is butterscotch. And then I'm going to hit it with the mini mister. Now here's the tricky part. I'm going to pick this up and I'm just going to lay it off to the side and I'm going to blot this by just rolling across it with my roll. Like so. Then I'm going to turn to another page and I'm going to take this and put it down, like so. And then I actually use a brayer. Like so. And then I don't wash it off. So I just pick it up and I put it back in my pile and there's still ink on it and that's cool. And then you want to blot this as well. how everything moves around. You can see ink all over. So it's usually good to keep your journal in one spot unless you want your cover to be covered in ink. So we've got that so far and usually I just keep going and keep going so I'm gonna do about that area there. Wow well, that signature kind of ripped out. I'm gonna do one more with I'm gonna do lettuce and stream with just a small stencil. We're gonna actually use this. If I can get it to lay flat. And just kind of spray around it. And then and this one you really can't use again, so I'm just gonna put that over there. 
Now, here's where the magic happens. Because you use this on your other stuff, you can see it's going to transfer the purple and stuff onto here. See? So I'm just going to go like that and go back to the page I did before. And now that it has the blue and the green on it, you can just kind of do that. And it's not really transferring much, so what I'm going to actually do is pick up what's on the table and then do it. Or you can even do that and then do it. Where you can see it picks up a lot more. So that's the basics for the beginning. Okay, so I've got my pages and I've got this one and this one and then this one here, which I like a ton. And we're gonna use just either your mini mister or this. And this is just a brush and water. And I'm just gonna show you. This doesn't really work unless you're working on something like um, this is printmaking paper. M paper for mixed media will work. Uh, my other journal had like um, vellum bristol and it didn't really work as well. So um, if you don't have a paper that, you know, test this out first with a little bit and if your paper doesn't work, then gesso your page first. Because these are ungessoed because it works. So I'm just basically getting the ink wet and just circles. Then I can go here and actually use my hand. Like that. And this is a lot like the stencils video that I did. So, you know, there's one, and you can go in and kind of fill in the stencil if you want. I kind of don't want to, I don't want to leave it that way. And you can see there's like a puddle of water here, it's going to drive a certain way, and marks like that. And I'm actually going to go to another page. Let's say you want like more of this cranberry color, you can just do something like that and then do that and then you can blot it. Like so. And then, like in here it would be really cool if there was like some blue. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my bottle. I'm just kind of do something like that. Because that is enough. To get that in there. Take a brush like so and then you know spread it something like that and then you can even go back over it with something else um, like this page I'm gonna put down I'm actually gonna do purple no yeah just 
just do that. It's even on a page that I've already done stuff on. Get back to that later. But since this page is already wet, it's not going to do a huge ton of blending. But I can go back to this one and look at it all. Like that. And then I'll just let it dry like that. I usually actually do that and let it dry. So I hope that was helpful.